Tech, I'm going to hop over to you because you're kind of on the flip, not to say you wouldn't or don't create for film or and television, but you've definitely got a pretty long list of artists that you've worked with um, in the past. For those of you who don't know, Tech has worked with Mac Miller, Rhapsody, Chevy Woods. I don't know if you want to keep going on your list because I know yeah, but actually, you know what? Just just easy. for the sake of it, and just for people to like feel what's really possible, go ahead and list who your credits are. Uh, I've worked currently. I'm working with uh, this artist, The Bad Seed from New York. Uh, he, uh, we, me, and him have a ten track album coming out. I've worked with uh, Tech from Smith and Wesson, uh, Duck Down, Sky Zoo, Torre. Um, God, you said Rhapsody, Cooley High. Um, I've done so much it's it's just way it's out there i have a, a few things that i'm that are in the works that i can't speak on but definitely that's what is currently happening right now got it so i want to talk about that lens and and i want to hear your mac miller story because you know rest in peace mac i would mm -hmm. love to hear about that moment for you but i want to know like what makes you want to work with an artist and how you go about getting to them there's there's a few different ways. So I actually have built a few different relationships with artists that have purchased beats from me on BeatStars. Um, one of them being Ace Cannons. Um, he he bought he leased a beat from me two years ago. Um, put out the project and then he bought he bought a hat for me and then wore the hat during a live stream event with Capadonna of the Wu Tang Clan and now has him on a single that for his next album that I've also produced. So building a, a network like that helps. Like, please talk to everybody that buys a beat from you because you'll never know who knows who. Um, but also like try and meet as many people as possible because you don't know, like Joe from down the street could be an a and for Def Jam and you have no idea. Like it's, it's more of who can link you to the next person or is that person that you're linking with the next person. Um, I have another very good friend who, who Trampy and I both know named Jay Hatch and he used to run iStandard but now runs um, something called the, the uh, it's called the creative sessions. He goes to a bunch of different cities and takes singers songwriters, producers, and A&Rs and puts them in a room and just locks them there. And like, it's like here, like you guys are gonna sit and you're gonna make music for Ariana Grande for an hour, or you're gonna do all these different things. And now you're not only in a room with an A&R or somebody of importance in the industry, but you're also meeting 50 to 60 different songwriters at a time that could potentially do something over a beat that could land you somewhere. So it's not literally if you talk to somebody, they like shoot your shot, like because at the end of the day, like what's the worst they can say? No. Like you right. You have to you have to do something like that. So it's it's always important to like even if you're blindly sending emails like, hey, I'm such and such, these are my credits, like just email like you'll never know somebody might email you back or somebody like and word of mouth travels fast if you're active and you're doing things and you know certain people in the industry are watching you pay attention to that because you'll never know who is actively listening or who is actively viewing 